Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good morning and assalamu alaikum. Welcome to A Light School Bulbar Campus. This is your teacher Sara. This video is for grade 6. Subject is computer. Chapter number 8 Computer viruses and their effects. In this chapter, further we will discuss how you protect your computer from virus. Dear students, sometimes you may have noticed that your computer system works slowly or stops at and start at any instant. Do you know what's the reason behind its malfunctioning? Okay, so let me tell you, this is because of computer virus. A computer virus is a program that is secretly introduced into a system in order to corrupt or destroy the data. We have already discussed this in our previous lecture. So our today's topic is how to protect your computer from virus. To protect your computer from virus is not a difficult task at all, but it is better to remember few points. Firstly, you must install an antivirus program on your computer. Antivirus, it is basically a software which is used to check the files on your computer for viruses and also remove them. When you have computer mein virus aata hai, to unse remove karne ke liye hum antivirus jo hai, usko install karte hai which protects our computer from viruses. Second is, do not download programs or files from insecure sites. Different sites jo hamare paas hote hain, hum unse games download karte hain or different types of files. So it can harm our computer, okay? It is also the cause of viruses, so do not download such insecure sites from such insecure sites, okay? The third one is, never open an email from an unknown person. We have discussed this in our previous lecture कि जब आप email को open करते हैं, so through email जो है हमारे computer में virus आ जाता है, so never ever open an email from an unknown person. जिनको आप नहीं जानते, you are not supposed to open the email because it is risky for your computer. It can harm your computer. Okay. The last one is scan the CDs and pen drives before using them on your computer. Whenever you want to insert the CDs or pen drives, USBs, memory card into your computer, make sure that you have to scan it. First you have to scan it, then you have to insert it. Okay, so this is enough for today. Hope you understood today's topic. Thank you for listening to me. If you have any question, you can ask me anytime on admin number.